Hi friends, thank you so much for stopping by today and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Alyssa and today I just wanted to do a quick little project share. I have created this loaded pocket embellishment album or ephemera holder um, and I was inspired by this snippet roll that Leanna from It's a Deal had sent to me in Happy Mail, and I did a video on the Happy Mail that she sent me, but this was one of the beautiful things that she made, and I just really wanted to use this in a fun little project. So you can see here that I snipped a piece off and used it to decorate the front pocket here. I did include a tiny little dangle here on the side, just with some beads and a star. And then this bead has the stars in it as well. This is a little bow here, I believe, but I thought it was a butterfly, to be honest. So like the theme of this whole book here is kind of floral and butterfly themed, I guess. So even though this is a bow, it kind of looks like a butterfly, right? <laughs> but, I pretty much made this out of two brown paper bags like that you pack your school lunches in and so I made just a regular loaded pocket here and I made this the cover so you can see I added some pom-pom trim here and then in my pocket I just stuck a few goodies this is a bigger ephemera piece from Joann's and then I've got some little journaling cards as well I love this one. It says butterfly kisses. So this is what it looks like with nothing inside, but we have the loaded bag here. So you can stick a bunch of things inside. And so I did stick this other larger ephemera piece also from Joann's and it says just for you. And you could journal on the back of that. And I just stuck that right into the bag. So let's just go ahead and flip through this fun little book here. It's not too long of a book, but it is very detailed, as you will see, at least for me. <laughs> so in the front here, I have this hello journaling card, but I just glued it down completely to create a tuck spot. I've got a few stickers here. And so behind it, I have an Inspire journaling card and then just another one that I made with my scraps and these fun dots at the top there. And then of course we still have the loaded bag. So I did put something else in here. And this was just another little mini album that I have previously done a tutorial on but it just has these flip out pages. So I just grabbed this to stick inside the paper bag. So you can put fun little goodies like that inside. And then over here, here's a piece of the beautiful snippet roll again. So this is just another pocket and I have glued down some little gemstone butterflies there. And in this pocket, I have another larger ephemera piece and a few different journaling cards. This one I just put together with my scraps and it says, good things are going to happen. And then there's also a side pocket on this page here. So I put a four by six project life journaling card in there. Of course, you could put a lot more things, but I just did that for an example. And then over here, I have just some writing space and it's actually a little tuck spot. So I did stick this butterfly here behind it and I had to fold it in half like this, but it could be a little booklet that you write a note in. And this is from Dollar Tree. So I just stuck that behind this. And then this purple paper in the background is also a tuck spot. So I have some more ephemera pieces and a journaling card. 
And then I was considering making this sticker a smaller tuck spot, but then I was like, no, I'm not going to go crazy with the tuck spots, but that's just a little sticker there for embellishment. And then here's another fun pocket. I mean, look at the beautiful snippet roll. I feel like this just makes the whole entire project. It's so, so stinking cute. And on the pocket here, I just have thinking of you. And then inside, I have another ephemera piece and a tag that I made just using my scraps. And then we'll flip this and there is a side pocket here as well. So again, I just put another four by six journaling card that says hello. And this page here, I made a tuck spot up at the top with a butterfly. And so these just slide right out. I have Love Grows Here, this little journaling card, and this can be removed. So the ephemera piece down here serves as the little pocket. And you can write on the back. And then this was just an extra scrap I had, and I turned it into a little flippy tag that you can journal on the inside. So those just get tucked right up top here. And then here is the last page. This is the loaded bag part. So I put the pocket or the loaded pocket. Loaded bag, loaded pocket, you know what I mean. But anyway, <laughs> I put the pocket on the inside this time. So there is the snippet roll again. And I did just add this little um, trim at the top of the pocket as well. So what do I have in here? I have just a few butterfly goodies. This was just, it was actually the half from this piece there. So there's a cute little journaling card now. And then I just paper clipped another butterfly journaling card, a, another big ephemera piece, and then just an extra scrap sheet here. And that's everything in this pocket. And then of course we have the loaded bag part. I think the only thing I put in here was this surprise envelope. I also did a tutorial on this. And so this is the bigger version. I did this size and then a mini one, but this is the bigger version. And it just barely fit into my paper bag. So this was the only thing that I put inside. So that's the entire embellishment album or ephemera holder. It's got tuck spots, pockets, all sorts of places to put little goodies and it could get really really chunky if you do fill this up with a lot of things but just a cute little book that i wanted to share with you all featuring this beautiful snippet roll that liana from it's a deal had sent to me in happy mail so i hope that you all have enjoyed this fun little flip through and i will see you all in my next video happy crafting everybody and huge hugs